Hello, third graders. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the lattice method of multiplication. So here you can see um, we have 8 times 45. 45 would be on top, and 8 is on the side. First, we multiply 5 times 8, and the answer is 40. And you write it like this here with the 4 on top and the 0 below. Now we do 8 times 4 which is 32. The 3 goes here, and the 2 goes here. Now we're going to add the numbers together, but we add them diagonally with these diagonal lines. So there's your 1's place, here's the 10's place, and here is the 100's place. So 0, we can just copy down. We have 4 plus 2 is 6, and 3 Again, just move down. So 8 times 45 is 360. Let's look at one now that has three digits. Uh, so here we have 9 times 634. First, we have 4 times 9. So think about what that is. It's 36. Now we go 9 times 3, which is... 27. And now, finally, we have 9 times 6, which is 54. And again, we're going to add diagonally the 1's place, the 10's place, the 100's place, and now the 1,000's place. So 6, simply move down. <clears throat> Next, you have 3 plus 7 which is 10. This is a little bit tricky. You put the 0 there of the 10, and the 1 comes up here. So now you have 1 plus 2 plus 4, which is 7. And finally, the 5 comes down here. So the answer is 5,706. Now let's take a look at your homework. This is home link 9.9. .9. Uh, the first problem here. So take a look at this. Uh, you have 46 times 2. So first think, what is 6 times 2? The answer is 12. So you write in 12. Next, what is 4 times 2? The answer is 8. So you write your 8 in the bottom, and you would put a 0 up here, actually. And now we add. So the 2 comes down. And 1 plus 8 is 9. For this homework, though, you also need to do the partial products algorithm, which we've already learned. So let's do that on the side here. 46 times 2. First, you'll have two 40s. So think about what that is. And the answer is 80. And next, you will have two 6s. Think about that for a second, and that is 12, and then you add them together, the answer is 92, your answer should be the same, and you can write it up there. Now try numbers 2 and 3 uh, on your own, and we'll try number 4 next together. So press pause and do the next two. Okay, here's the final problem on your homework, uh, 8 times 906. You have to write in the 906 on the top yourself now, and the 8 goes on the side. So think, what is 8 times 6? The answer is 48. 8 times 0, pretty simple, 0. And 8 times 9 is 72. Now, we add those up. And our first answer is 7,248. Go ahead and try the partial products method on your own, and hopefully it matches your answer, and that's all. Thank you.